Hey what's up guys it's Rich, welcome back to another video, today we are playing some Warzone of course. I've been playing this a lot behind the scenes ever since it came out and with the new season came some new weapons to the game and I wanted to level them up and try them out in the Battle Royale Warzone mode. So the one we are trying out today is the CR 56 AMAX or the Galil as it's more commonly known and this is the class loadout on screen that I used in the video that you're about to watch. The only reason I'm using the suppressor uh, on screen is because I hadn't actually unlocked the monolithic which is probably the best attachment in the game for 90% of the guns. I have the Zodiac barrel and the rubberized rear grip to reduce the recoil. I have the Merc 4 grip for better hit fire and I'm using the 45 round mag which actually isn't a necessity in solos mode. In duos, trios and quads it definitely is but if you're a solo player 30 bullets is definitely adequate and you can switch it out for a nice sight or some other performance enhancing detachment. Now the way that you make this gun work on Warzone is to try and avoid those longer range gunfights. You will lose them against the M4 and against the Grau because the Galil has more recoil. However, it definitely feels like it packs more of a punch than these weapons so you need to try and keep your gunfights at medium range to out damage these guns and you're good to go. Sort of reminds me of the AK on this game. Packs more of a punch, you get more recoil because of that and therefore it's more difficult to use at the ranges that you can use and then fall and grow at. So today I'm playing the solos mode which is definitely intense. It's a little bit more defensive than the other modes and I've probably played less than 15 total solo games and I'm still getting used to it. But we end up with a bunch of kills and I'm excited to try and introduce some new Warzone content to the channel. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you all in five and a half seconds my friends. All right, RGB it is. Mimi goes. Ali and Claire call this RGB. And I think someone's trying to steal my contract here. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Uh, because it's got a red roof, a green roof, and a, and a blue roof. But there are more pressing concerns at the moment. Is that how loud footsteps are? Good grief. Is that how loud my footsteps are? I think he's run off. Whatever, I'm gonna risk it. At least no one stole my contract, you know? Good old search contract for the start of the game to secure yourself some money. Always nice. Problem is, no one's fighting here. And we saw, what, like three people flying in? So I assume they're all spread out, hold on. Genius tactic. It's supposed to start firing and making noise and stuff, but there we go. Hopefully now everyone is distracted. I can just... Never mind, I can hear footsteps in here. Okay, they're just kicking... This is the worst thing about hearing footsteps, is that it makes you paranoid. And then you spend the next sort of 30 seconds being really cautious, because you know people love to sit in rooms, in random corners, and then nothing happens. This feels like a massive waste of time. People were kicking off, but unfortunately... I didn't get to mark out where it was. And there's someone in here. Great. And he's dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, my, my deepest apologies there. He probably heard me flying and, and thought I was going to land on the roof or something. That's what I would have thought. A little sniper. Our last box is just through here. And we've earned ourselves some cash money. Eight point seven. What's this? The the muckrake, semi-auto sniper. Give this a go. I think it's one of the little marksman rifle kind of things. Might be worth a little uh, a little try. Sniping's fun, but I've never really used a sniping like the semi-autos in Warzone at least. There you are. And apparently you know where I am. This guy was on the radar. Someone's down low. Oh. So you should just finish the kill insta. Someone's down low beneath us as well. Oh, friend! Where are you flying in from? I didn't think he was going to use the buy station, he's just flown in from the Gulag, I think. Guy's got absolutely no money, he's trying to... 
flying to one of the most contested buy stations on the game. I will sit here until the end of time, I promise. Got bamboozled. Little bunny hop to keep up the momentum around the corner. Is this the one on the roof? Yes. Enemy I assumed he would have overhead. looted that already. Uh, well, I've got 9.2. I can't afford my loadout, and the loadout should be coming in pretty soon. Like the, the free one. So I guess we just sort of wait it out a little bit. There we go. There's two boxes though, and it's in the place where a ton of people. Okay. Someone's loadout landed right next to me. This is the place where I landed, and unfortunately everyone was here. It's a big scrap near the TV station. This might be a little bit annoying to get to. There's just so many rooftops around this area. But I want my Galil. Okay, great. Literally right on my loadout. So someone knows I'm here. Okay, joining forces are we? It's the Warzone Sniping Division, out to kill your boy. Didn't even let the recoil reset, I heard someone's footsteps this way too. Ah! Didn't mean to drop down, didn't mean to fall down the ladders. That plate's done absolutely nothing for me. You've got none spare. Yeah, thanks, mate. This is you put me in a great spot now. Two shot kill if you, if one of them's a headshot. That's not bad. I don't know what to do here. We got the we got the buy station near TV, I guess. Give me my Galil, and give give me my semi-auto sniper. That thing is actually pretty good. All right, I was impatient. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, he's turned around, and I don't have C4. I don't think he would have reached anyway, and he's hopped out. Take that. There's no way I'm going to stand here and challenge you. I have one armor plate and you have mental high ground and the storm's coming in. I've got to use this buy station. I can't walk around with one armor plate on. It's the only reasonable one I can get to as well without crossing a massive field, which leaves you even more vulnerable. This isn't going to be a fun time. It's a TV station as well. Everyone camps here. This has to be in the top three worst buy stations on the game. It's this one, uh, the one at Airfield. Um, I, I, to be honest, I'm not really sure. Maybe Hospital is, is pretty bad as well. Uh, can't afford anything else. Let's just get out of here. We've got some bounties here at the TV station. Uh, see? Told you! People are always here, just in random little corners. This guy's on ground floor. Is it inside or outside? Inside, I think? I hope so, because I don't think I can get out at this angle. It wasted a UAV. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. What, what are we doing here, friend? You had to hit my armor as well, didn't you? I have no idea why you were looking this way. There's no way you heard me. Uh, we can get one of these bounties, I guess. At least it'll tell us where someone is. So we could be rotating in from the safe zone. Or from the storm, even. That's nice. We ranked up for sitting on a ledge. That's tremendous work. Yeah, this guy's in a bit of a unfavourable position at the moment. 
though he's actually stuck between like two Enemy points of interest. Now, I've sort of made it over to the airfield now. Now I'm, now I'm going to chase him and I'm going to be the one that's stuck in between two points of interest. I hate crossing these areas, especially with this Galil. Because uh, the Galil isn't as good as the M4 or the, uh, the Grau. At long range. Are you hopping out? What's going on? What are you looking at? Oh, okay then. The EBR 14, level 6 now. Apparently it's the best gun in the game, who knew? Tell you what, it is nice having a, like a really long range gun to accompany the skill all because it's good at close range and it's good at medium range. But you just have a little bit of kick, especially compared to the, the ground the M4, like I said. And whenever a new gun comes out or a gun's like buffed or whatever, the benchmark on whether or not it's actually good is how it stacks up against the M4 and the grow. And the Galil's not bad. You just gotta try and stay in a situation where it can stand a chance against those two guns. And that is not at these longer ranges. This man's retreating. He's, he's off. I mean, these places that everyone just lies down like this. On UAV, please. We need eyes in the sky. Hello, friend. What's going on? This guy, the, this guy the bag. Here we go. This guy the good stuff. Is that my bounty? If that's not my bounty that's on the UAV, then there are two people over here right on top of each other. People firing in the airfield. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. He signed the hangars, but it says he's up top. There is like a higher up place in them. I think he's behind there. There we go, car's driving over to him as well. Car guy's hopped out. We need eyes in the sky. Here we go. UAV entering the AO. Oh, why would you hop off that way? That's where you're getting shot from. That's going to be a free kill, and you've hopped off the wrong way. Bounty target is down. Well done. That's awesome. okay. This is three people's worth of loot. Someone else was on the radar very briefly, but. We get this bounty. That's annoying. I got all the way here just for the bounty to die to someone else. I mean, I still got a little bit of money. Oh my god, I got 10 grand now. I'm not using that fire station in the airfield. Enemy UAV overhead. I got ghosts, which is fine. The issue is here. The people love camping on these buildings because this is a popular little spot. You never trust people in solos. I mean, it's bad enough in duos, trios, and quads. With people playing defensive, but when you're by yourself, it's... I don't know, there's something so eerie about this game. It's just so punishing. Am I okay to use this? Is he getting closer? Let just refresh once more. Nope, he's run off. Alright. Okay, actual. Send recon. UAV entering the AO. That circle is centered outside. Is he? He might be like around the building, ground floor. For resupply. Oh, that was you. Okay. Why was the circle so inaccurate? Made it look like he was just not even on top of the building for some reason. Oh, it's worked out. That was someone on top of that building. in the hangars.
I've got 13 grand now, so I guess I'll try and make my way back to the buy station if I can. Alright, no, I've got 17 and a half grand. This guy's money just fell down the ladders, apparently. I hate using buy stations in solos. It's the worst. But no one shot me last time. I got 17 grand. It'd be criminal not to use this. Okay, actual. Send recon. UAV entering the AO. Might be time for self res. Final deployment is ready. Your window's closing fast. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Uh, is someone... Enemy UAV yeah, he's gonna have to move pretty far. Maybe here so I can put him off, perhaps? Got the armor box because when well, I got the armor satchel, so it can give me eight. And also, this may be the last chance I get to even use a buy station, so I may as well just spend my money. Wait for this guy to rotate in late now. There we go. Mm. It's got an armor box. I just wasted my money. Could use the buy station again, I guess. Five point four. Eh, might be worth it. We need eyes in the sky. Gas is inbound. Alright, two people saw a super store way. You have to rotate through as well. Enemy UAV overhead. One guy near this car. See sort of where it gets tricky. Someone there, but getting to him is kind of difficult. These guys have to rotate from Superstore. I might just do the same thing here. I might just have to gatekeep this person for a free kill. UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for Enemy UAV overhead. Honestly, it's the freeze kills you'll ever get. I think I think the moral of the story here is use ghost, and if you if you don't have ghost. Try and get to the safe zone as soon as you can. There's someone will call in a UAV. And that person will gate keep you at the edge of the storm. Only two people on the radar. Alright, seven other people. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. How is that guy on that buy station at this point in the game and not getting shot at? That's a Christmas miracle for him. I might just rotate to the safe zone. I don't know if anyone's even down this way. You would assume so, given the size of the circle and the fact there's seven other people left. Oh, here we go. He's got himself a yeah, grenade launcher. That might be worth it. I've got a semi-auto sniper at this point in the game. That guy just saved me. I'm gonna shot the guy that was shooting me. I knew someone would go that way. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Wow, you boys gotta go. What the heck's this? In like five seconds. I think he's gonna die. He's choking. He's coughing. Good work. 
Ah! Fifteen kill wet. The last I heard, there were five, top five people. There were five people left. What on earth happened to the rest of the people? I thought there was going to be three people in that tiny circle. Apparently not. Here's the thing with this weapon, okay? It's not, let's, let's be honest here. It's not as good as the Grey. It's not as good as the M4. If you want to only go for high kill wins, if you want the best chance of winning, use those two guns. If you want to try something different, with a little bit different playstyle, try this weapon out. But you've got to try and keep the gunfights a little bit closer range. Don't go in the hills. Don't go where there's a lot of trees. Try and maybe stick to like the city area. Um, and try and get a long distance weapon as a secondary if you do have to go in those sort of big open places because you all get beamed by those guns. 15 kills solo win. We could have been a little bit more aggressive but I haven't played too much solos in this game. That was fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Mmm.